pretty dark right now because I haven't filmed anything today it's like almost 11 o'clock and I got up this morning went to church came back rested all day just slept didn't do that much woke up ate some dinner and I've been editing for the last four hours trying to catch up on videos so just got one set up ready to export as soon as that's done I'm gonna go to some free Wi-Fi or maybe use my phone I'm not 100% positive upload a video so that there's something for everyone to watch, but that's the update you're getting for now. Okay guys, so I wanted to take some time to sit down and go over the results that I got from my Lattice training assessment, as well as the plan um, that they sent me. So I'm starting on Monday will be my first week of the training and I just wanna kinda explain what um, the results that they sent me were. Um, as well as like how the training plan like setup works. So basically the results that I got back were kind of uh, not really that surprising. It's basically that like my finger strength like needs to improve um, and that my power endurance needs to improve. So like things that I guess any climber could probably say. Um, but the thing that I guess was surprising was they told me that um, my like two rep max for weighted pull-ups was like 142% of my like body weight basically. Um, which they said the gold standard they have for men is 150%. So actually gonna end up focusing less on that. Um, and then the plan is designed to focus on boulders, bouldering specific power endurance and uh, increasing finger strength with hangboarding. But so basically they sent me two documents. Um, one is the plan that outlines everything for the next 12 weeks um, starting on March 9th and going all the way through basically the first couple days of June is how long the plan goes till and they send you this thing set up in a document it just kind of looks like an excel sheet and basically the way that it works is under each week um, they have sets of exercises so red is like high intensity blue is like medium um, dark blue is like medium and then light blue is more like endurance stuff the browns are just like conditioning uh, and that type of stuff um, so less intense but also not like climbing exercises so looking at the first week they also give you in each thing it's marked with either a half or one so that's the total like length of the session so if it's a half it's just a half session which means um, when you go into the crimped app that's where all these workouts are listed and you can see and they have instructions and video demos and all that kind of stuff um, you go in there and it'll tell you like the number of sets that you do and essentially for the half uh, session you just do half the number of sets so if it was six you would do three um, and so forth but so looking at this first week they've got me doing strength intervals linked boulder and seven three repeaters at 80 percent um and then an exercise called drop intervals and then continuity yeah continuity five x three um and then uh several different conditioning things one um being with pull-ups one with trx and then floor core and then some conditioning for my forearms shoulder stabilizers and some hip and leg flexibility so basically when you get the light plan you don't get specific coaching 
support you just get the plan and then they're like off to the races like that's all you so essentially you get all these exercises they tell you to do them each week and then it's up to you to put them into a format that meets your schedule um, so basically what I've done here is I just created my own different Excel document uh, for the first week I split it up on day and then just added in the different workouts so they told me and kind of divided them across the week so I wanted to do two rest days within the week so I did Thursday because that's my most class intensive day and then again Sunday um, so splitting it up the week I tried to make it like closer to even training load um, but also doing so like starting on Monday it's more like kind of power endurance stuff um, the next day is more just like endurance and recovery um, Wednesday will be like a free climb as well as some core work and then the rest day Thursday and then Friday is gonna be my like hardcore like try hard day starting with the strength intervals which is like the most intense exercise they've given me for this first week um, and then Saturday will be a little bit more free climbing um, probably again more intense but only like an hour um, followed by some of the more endurance based exercises to do more of a cool down as well as the TRX uh, strength work basically each week um, I have a slightly different setup that they want me to do and it kind of like builds and progresses like I don't even start doing hangboarding like intense max hang hangboarding until like closer to the end so it'll be interesting to see I do another assessment later before I start that uh, round of hangboarding um, it's like three weeks it'll be interesting to see how my finger strength improves just from like bouldering as well as the repeaters and stuff how that impacts my max strength so that's something I'm looking forward to um, as well as um, my pull-up strength in order to get to the like gold standard they talked about at 150 percent body weight um, right now I need to be pulling I think 36 additional kilograms and like in the test I did 30, 32 or 30.5 I can't exactly remember um, but that's another goal to like work towards and stuff um, but I'm really excited I'm looking forward to doing this and I hope that you'll follow along in the videos and just see the progress and hopefully um, see how much stronger I get at the end um, I think the big important things for me to focus on are like I have to be really strict with my stretching and recovery stuff so being focusing on those rest days but also each day doing my forearm stretches and stuff like that like what I've been doing to try to stay injury free despite having all this extra training load um, is I've been waking up in the morning doing a round of the stretches doing them after a climbing session and then doing them again before I go to sleep I had some pain the other day but I've taken two days off to kind of reset and then we'll kind of ease back into the intensity that's going to be it for this video. I know it was a little bit shorter. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.